Hello students, welcome to the statistics class. In today's session, we shall look at some causes of distrust of statistics. So, in the limitations of statistics part, the fourth point and the sixth point, let us focus on that. Only experts can make use or the best possible use of statistics and statistics can be misused. These were the two points which emphasized us that statistics can be misused and uh, if you don't know statistics then uh, the results that you have obtained may be of uh, wrong conclusion so let us look at some more causes of distrust of statistics so the first point is figures can be easily believed so like i told you numbers can be easily believed suppose you are going in a shop for shopping say for clothes and you uh, see the board outside there written as 40 percent discount or 50 percent discount so here one common mistake that we do is we don't try to read the conditions attached to it or the suffixes or prefixes attached to it so prefixes like uh, up to or flat there is a difference between up to and flat so up to means you will get a discount up to 40 percent but not 40 percent so you may get 5 percent 10 percent 15 percent the maximum will be 40 percent flat means you will get flat 40 percent that is the product if you buy a product of say, say for 100 rupees so there will be a flat 40 percent discount on that so from that 100 40 will be deducted so you have to pay 60 rupees only so we fail to read that so this is how figures can be easily believed so that is one of the main problems that causes us not to trust statistics or say that statistics will lie next second one ignoring the limitations of uh, statistics so there are uh, numerous methods theories in statistics it's not like all are applicable in all situations for example in the school level you have studied mean median and mode so let us look at them for example uh, mean so mean gives us the average number one central number of overall distribution so when you add up all the numbers of the given distribution and divide it by the number of observations so you will get one number okay so that number is called mean median means central number so the central most part of the given data mode means the point of the data which repeats itself highest number of times so here if you don't have the knowledge of statistics then you might end up using a wrong formula for wrong situations so for example in uh, terms of business in terms of uh, computing scale of business you need mode rather than median and mean when the data is qualitative you need median rather than mean and mode so when the data has quantitative figures that is average marks or average height you will need mean rather than median and mode so each formula has its own limitations so ignoring those limitations can lead to wrongful and misleading results okay third one misuse of figures so numbers can be misused this point relates to the first point that is figures can be easily believed now let me give you an example here so if you take say two cities and compare their crime rates so for example i take two cities like pune and mumbai so i say that in mumbai the crime uh, on uh, everyday basis there will be uh, say 5000 reports of uh, crime so there will be 5000 reports of crime every day and in the city of uh, pune there will be overall uh, 3500 uh, reportings of crime every day now here if you look at the surface number 5000 looks greater than uh, <coughs> 5000 looks greater than 3500 but you also need a proper basis to compare this so 5000 out of what is the population of mumbai say 
it is around uh, 2 crores so the population of mumbai is 2 crores so if you divide if you take the ratio there it will be 0 0.0025 and now compare that with the crime of uh, pune so in pune there are 3500 uh, cases of crime reported every day and the population of Pune is say 50 lakh so that will be again 0.007 so if you compare this ratio you will find that the crime rate is higher in Pune than that of uh, Mumbai so if you just look at the crime numbers there Mumbai looks highest but if you take the proportion of the crime then Pune will be higher than Mumbai so what here the personals with uh, malicious objectives that will they will do is they won't take the ratios there so they will take just take the numbers that 5000 and here 3500 so they will compare it and they will say that mumbai is uh, unsafe as compared to pune which is uh, quite uh, misleading so this is how numbers can be misused next fourth one inadequate samples so uh, it is not possible for us to study the entire population sometimes so in order to know about the phenomena we take uh, samples for example a very simple example is when you try to buy grapes uh, so you pluck and eat a couple of them in order to understand whether they are sweet or sour now you cannot take the whole grape bunch and eat it okay, so you just pluck a couple of them you eat it on the basis of that you decide whether you want to buy it or not so like that only in various phenomena we take uh, samples and test them and uh, come to a conclusion whether the results are right or wrong suitable or not suppose you are a manufacturer so you have manufactured say 1000 units and you are now about to release them into market so you have to test get them tested before releasing them into market so if you take a sample of say only one product out of 1000 products and if that turns out to be defective so you can't say that the whole lot is defective so you take some number of samples here again if you take 10 and out of that 10 if uh, six of them are defectives again it implies that your whole lot is defective so here what happens is one or ten both of them are inadequate samples so due to that the results will be again misleading and wrongful so you have to take adequate samples that is proper number of samples and the technique of sampling should be appropriate according to the situations but due to lack of uh, samples uh, again we will have wrongful statistics in our hand last but not the least point is lack of subject knowledge again this correlates to the second point here some people use uh, statistics without having any knowledge of it today in the world of uh, softwares we have uh, a lot of softwares which uh, apply statistical methods like we have SPSS, R, Python etc etc so they have different uh, statistical tools <coughs> so uh, what people do here is they try to run the different tests and uh, methodology of the statistics but they don't understand is the result that result should be interpreted properly okay if that is not interpreted properly then their study might go horribly wrong so those who don't have the subject knowledge if they use statistics they will be in a huge trouble so lack of subject knowledge also makes the statistics look very wrongful in the eyes of the public so hence there is a statement that uh, there are lies and there are diam lies and then there is statistics this is what uh, due to these distrusts statistics name has been maliciously downgraded so there is lies diam lies and statistics so these are some of the causes of distrust in statistics now let us look at some of the remedies that we need in order to remove these distrust in statistics